I'm Joel. And I'm Maria. And we're both undergraduates in Professor Boothker's lab at the University of California at Berkeley. We're working on building a magnetic nanoscope using negatively charged nitrogen vacancy centers in diamond. Diamond is made up of many carbon atoms arranged in a lattice. If we were using pure diamond, all the atoms would only be carbon. However, the diamond we are using has a few nitrogen atoms that replace carbon atoms. Our diamond also has vacancies in the lattice. These vacancies can be made, for instance, by shooting a beam of high-energy electrons to knock the carbon atoms out of their positions. After heating up the diamond, these nitrogen atoms and vacancies get closer together. When this happens, we call the structure a nitrogen vacancy center, usually shortened to NV centers. NV centers come in three flavors, positively, neutrally, and negatively charged. The negatively charged NV centers are now being used in many different fields, like biology, quantum computing, and fundamental atomic research. We use NV centers for their optical properties and magnetic sensitivity. If we shine a green laser at a diamond with NV centers, the diamond shines back red light. When we apply microwaves at certain frequencies, the NV centers emit less light. By graphing light intensity versus microwave frequency, we see how they relate. If we apply a magnetic field on the NV centers, this graph changes in a predictable manner. This means that if we know the light intensity at two different microwave frequencies, we can know the magnetic field at the location. Cameras allow us to record this information in many places at once, so we can get an image of a spatially varying magnetic field. In our experiment, we focus a 532 nanometer laser onto an NV diamond. We split the fluorescence from the NV diamond between a photo detector and a CCD camera. We analyze images from the camera to see a magnetic field gradient produced by the tip of a magnetized wire. This work was funded by the National Science Foundation, Directorate for Engineering. We appreciate having this opportunity to do cutting-edge research, and we hope to have opportunities like this in the future. Thank you.